Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another See It or Skip It movie review with Jim and Rob. Jim. Earlier this weekend, we saw the American Society for Magical Negroes, uh, a, a satire, a newly released satire that kind of changes into a rom-com about halfway through. Uh, it's not getting great reviews. I liked it. Uh, I thought it was a see it. It's a it's a decent little movie. Uh, the satire, maybe they pulled their punches a bit. Uh, but it, like American fiction, it sort of is two movies in one. You have your sat satirical element and then the other story. Uh, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, how about you, Rob? Uh, Jim, I, I agree with you. I think it was a solid see it for me, too. Is it the greatest thing I've seen this year? No. Uh, but it ha it really had its moments. Uh, I think you'd said on the weekend something about there's a lot of jokes there. It'll be worth looking at again. Um, mm. And yeah, you're right. I like that comparison you draw to American fiction, but I think one of the reasons it worked in this movie but didn't in American fiction is that the rom-com is a result of the satire. Like the, you, you can't have the rom-com if he doesn't join the American society, our hero doesn't join the American society of magical Negroes. So yeah, I thought it was, it was funny. It had a bit of heart and there was, uh, while it didn't have necessarily the bite that some would like, uh, it's better than Barbie, like way more heft than I would say Barbie had. And I'm not totally crapping on Barbie, but uh, yeah, this this has got more punch than that does. And, mm. you know, so yeah, I, I, I see it for me too, Jim. Yeah, yeah. I would compare the, the humor in it almost like 30 Rock. Like you really got to listen and I guarantee I missed some things there, some jokes and some references as well. But also a bit of a Harry Potter vibe, I thought, on some level too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, but uh, in the like production kind of design and uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's, you're absolutely right. The depth yeah. it implies, mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. lore it implies, uh, including yeah. an interesting hook at the very end. If you stick around folks, if you go see yes. it, uh, yeah. although I suspect it won't land in theaters, Jim, I would love to take a deeper dive on this when it comes out on streaming. Are you up for that? Yeah, absolutely. Since we've been loosened from the shackles of Oscar <laughs> nominated <laughs> movies, we can see anything. <laughs> well, I think then, folks, that's my cue to tell you to like, subscribe, and be sure to uh, ring the bell so that you'll know when this comes out in streaming, Jim and I will do a deep dive.